The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. We are going to talk today about how does Ramzan, Ramadan fasting or intermittent fasting affect your body. So this is the acute change which happens during these times, right? So what happens during fasting hours when you are not taking any food or drinks, right? Your body first consumes all the calories from whatever food you have consumed during the night, right? Once these calories have been used up, then your body uses the carbohydrate stores, which is in the form of glycogen in your liver and your muscle. And then also it starts using fats, fats which are uh, stored in your body in like in the adipose tissue, right? And that these are used in to produce energy. One more important thing is that your body cannot actually store water in the form of water, right? So what happens when you don't take water, your kidneys conserve as much as water as possible by reducing the amount of urine. However, your body cannot avoid losing some water when you go to the toilet or when uh, you are sweating through the skin or when you are breathing also or even when you are uh, in through your skin normal amount of little amount of water is actually secreted so you do lose water continuously and depending upon the weather as well as the length of fast most of the people who actually fast during Ramadan will experience mild, at least mild dehydration. This mild dehydration will cause headaches, headache, tiredness and difficulty in concentrating. So this is very, very common. However, studies have suggested that this is not harmful to your health, provided that enough fluids are consumed during the uh, during af, um, the time when after the breaking the fast and to the actually replace and uh, before sun uh, before sunrise so that you can replace the lost fluid during the day right and uh, but what you need to understand if you are unable to stand up due to dizziness or you are disoriented then you should immediately head to a emergency that that is one thing which you should understand and um, if you actually faint, what the person should do is raise your legs, raise your legs above your head, right? And uh, this is important if you are unconscious, obviously, because blood should go to uh, your head, into your brain first, uh, at least, if even if you are dehydrated and if you have low blood pressure also, right? And if you are awake, you should actually uh, urgently rehydrate as soon as possible, obviously. And... Uh, for those people who actually normally consume a caffeinated drink such as tea, coffee during the day, the immediate uh, lack of caffeine during the fast can actually initiate, initially uh, lead to headaches and tiredness. Now this may be, uh, this may uh, ease over slowly over a period of time during the course of Ramzan as the body adjusts without going uh, th going without caffeine and once the day uh, when the once the fast is broken the body can actually rehydrate and gain energy from the food and the drinks which are consumed however uh, because you have not eaten for a long time you may find it helpful to eat slowly right slowly when actually breaking the fast and to start with plenty of fluids a lot of fluids low fat uh, fluid rich foods like like fluid rich fruits right and uh, as well as uh, such as f uh, vegetables soups stews it is very important to replace the fluid loss during the day and to start the next day uh, fasting also you need you know prehydration you need to stay well hydrated right see salt basically stimulates thirst and so it is not a good idea to uh, eat a lot of salty foods and uh, 
pre dawn meals like basically surur basically provides the fluids and energy for the day of fasting ahead so making a healthy choice uh, in this time is very important can help you cope better with this fast so then iftar meals are often the time for celebration and uh, with these are done with families when families come together to break their fast and it is important not to go overboard when eating during this time consuming a lot of a lot of deep fried and creamy and sweet foods can actually cause you to gain weight even during these fastings and um, it can be a very good time if you really want to uh, improve the balance of your diet and you can actually sustain this balance in your diet if you actually take care of what you eat for a very long time even after ramadan is over right so the changes uh, the changes which you need to make into your e- eating habit and making sure that you don't lose a lot of water can actually because if you don't do these things then you can actually have complications right complications like constipation complications like diarrhea complications like dehydration hypoglycemia so dizziness headaches these can happen so what you can do you can eat and drink a lot of fluid as well as high fiber foods like whole grains whole grains cereals bran fruits vegetables all these are dried fruit dry fruits uh, nuts right these are good choices to eat and uh, these can actually relieve your constipation as well as well as a little bit of physical activity is good after uh, iftar this is this is how you need to avoid uh, dehydration as well as most common problems during fasting this is what exactly happens in your body in fasting so good luck during this Ramzan fasting and uh, don't forget to share this video and share your reviews i'm dr paramjeet you're watching dr education stay connected stay healthy